Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here and welcome back to another Let's Play episode of Detroit Become Human. This game, this game, my god, I feel like at the moment my emotions have been all over the place playing Forgotten Anne and now Detroit Become Human. Jesus Christ, can I just have a really chill game after this, a really relaxing game that isn't going to make me cry, rage and question life. But anyway, let's go in. Let's continue on. And thank you so much to everybody supporting this series as well. Oh. John's coffee. Sometimes I wish I liked coffee because it would help keep me awake. I have really low energy levels a lot of the time. I've just bought some um, multivitamin tablets actually try and help with that. Thank you for using Detroit <gasps> oh. Alright. End the line. We're gonna End have to get line. off. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. What are we gonna do? Like, where are we gonna go? We can't stay on the bus forever. It's not the night bus on Harry Potter. Sadly. <laughs> I mean, this is the thing. We have no money. Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. It's not really his problem, to be fair. I mean, at the end of the day, he has no reason to be nice to an android, but there's a real human girl with her. So perhaps he could have been a little bit more helpful. <laughs> or maybe he just genuinely doesn't know. Oh, she's cold. You're gonna be okay? We'll find somewhere to spend the night. She needs shelter, she needs food, she needs warmth. We need money. What the hell, man? Come on, Alice, we've gotta hurry. Find shelter for the night. Right, okay, there's some stuff to interact with over there. We can't go in the android bay because that's still cold. We need somewhere inside, really. And also, wouldn't it raise questions if uh, any police go past a android with a small girl out in the open? So it needs to be somewhere pretty private as well, I would say. What about this? What about in here? We could break in. I'm sure it was saying I could interact with that at first. Oh, there we go. It pops up briefly. There we go. Shop is closed. Never mind. I had to change my position in a little bit. Alice? Okay, Alice wants to go this way. Alice. Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. Uh, you're lying. <laughs> you look lost. Oh. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. Oh, do it. Do we just trust this random street android? But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Right, when when someone mysteriously appears and disappears and gives you information, you know that they are trustworthy. 100% legit. For using Detroit 
Right, so which way do I actually have to go then? Oh my god! Well, this place is open. So let's try in here. She was going on about, oh, it's on the other side of town, but I'm, I'm kind of curious. Look, I like to open. explore. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Find some help. Convince Cashier to help. Right, okay. Oh, an android trying to convince a human to be sympathetic. Okay, here we go. We're gonna give it a go. <laughs> what do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. What a dick! Do you not care about the little girl? Steal from the cash register. Steal shoplift, rob cashier. I have got the gun. Oh shit. This is all escalating now. I don't want to shoot him. I don't know what's going to happen if I use the gun. I don't trust this game. If I want to use the gun, he might end up getting shot. Or we could shoplift. But she needs food and she needs water and we do need money, so... Eh, maybe shoplift. Steal. Where the fuck did she put it? She literally stored it inside her breasts. <laughs> Does she have a compartment in her body that she can just open and pop it, pop something inside? Kind of like a uh, bender off Futurama. Where, where is that teddy? It's inside her bosom. The thing is, I bet you um, normal androids cannot steal anything, so he probably doesn't suspect that she would steal because he doesn't know that she's feeling and she's broken through the normal protocols and commands. Um, so he won't exactly be looking at the security camera in all honesty. Food for Alice. Chocolate is good. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Oh shit. Put that back right now. Shit, he saw. Put it back. He didn't see the teddy though. Look, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 right. Just get the hell out of my store. Come on, Alice. We can't afford for the um, cops to be alerted. And for him to describe us to the cops because then the cops will be closer it's on okay, our trail. Alice. We're gonna find some place to sleep tonight. Cause that's the other thing. If we held him up with the gun, if we didn't kill him, he would have reported it to the cops and then as I said, um that would be an issue, so At least he doesn't know about the teddy bear. Stored in my breasts. <laughs> Hello? We need a place to stay. That was creepy. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? <laughs> no fucks given. Sorry. Okay, um... Right, there was something... 
There's something over there actually, across the road, but there's also something around this corner that I can interact with on the left. Oh yes! Yes! We can steal some clothes! Yes! Alice can get warm and dry! You'll feel better in no time. We could do with getting like an umbrella or something so that she doesn't get wet again. Well, there's a guy in here. Change of clothes. Oh, the fact that there's somebody here is an issue. Because he's going to see us steal the clothes. Okay, the beeline to disaster. Cybersecurity expert warns your Android could be hacked. Date, dating website discovered to have less than 5% female members. The beeline to disaster. Pollinating bees officially extinct. For decades, scientists and farmers foresaw the inevitable extinction of bee populations. It is actually a real issue, guys. Um, despite these warnings, the Global Institute for Endangered, Endangered Species, GIES, announced at their Washington AGM yesterday that wild bees are now officially extinct. Living specimens exist only in captivity. Couldn't they just make little android bees that do the same thing? Bee numbers have been ravaged in recent decades by colony collapse disorder where worker bees disappear, leaving hives which cannot feed themselves. Biologist confirms that CCD was accelerated by the overuse of pesticides in crops, parasites, and po pollution, even. Sorry, dyslexia again. Um, pollinating bees officially extinct. The consequences of this catastrophe, catastrophe even, will be felt across the cotton industry, freshwater supplies, and most disturbingly, agriculture. Environmentalist Kathy Linda has stressed the breadth of this news. One in three mouthfuls of food we eat relies on pollination of some kind. The resulting famine will lead to millions of deaths worldwide. Cyberlife in cooperation with GIES have come forward with plans on creating robotic bees. Some are pursuing non-robotic approaches, such as Detroit Urban Farms, currently experimenting with modified strains of bee produced in captivity, but there is no guarantee that they will thrive. Right, let's uh, turn over the page as well. It's time to face the music! Live concerts to make a comeback. Ten ways to please your man and keep him. <laughs> okay. Right, uh, for the younger generation, watching concerts in VR, VR has become the norm. That is kind of cool, actually. Um, and who wouldn't want to slip on a VR headset and enjoy the show from the best seat in the house? It's a cheap, safe and no-hassle solution to watching your favourite performers. And you always get the best view. <laughs> but live music is about to be de-revolutionised. Nina and Kosuki Music? have launched a campaign to bring back old school concerts with live audiences <coughs> excuse me in front of performers in the flesh chuck morish M morish morish moneypenny mkm spokesperson explains the culture of going to live concerts is a thing of the past but we want to bring that back real music is when it's vibrating through your soul surrounded by people who are experiencing the same thing that is true, you don't get the same feeling. Break the Wall will be one of the first bands to take the stage. Performing in front of a live audience and getting an immediate reaction will be mind-blowing. This is what music is supposed to be all about, says lead singer Baz Rudd. The hype, the applause, the screams, you just don't get that sitting on your sofa. If this proves a success, NKM's next step is to bring back music festivals, which should be music to fans' ears. Haha, <laughs> no pun intended. Um, so when it comes to concerts with me, I don't feel comfortable because I don't like large crowds and I get a little bit claustrophobic and I'm constantly worrying my anxiety flares up. So I'm not that fond of concerts in all honesty. I much prefer to just buy the Blu-ray of the concert stick it on uh, with some great surround sound and just watch it that way. So personally, I would probably go with the VR experience anyway. 
What about you guys? Let me know. Do you like concerts? Or not? Right. We need to desperately get some clothes quite badly, actually. Poor Alice is freezing her arse off. There's none in there. We're gonna have to steal from the one right by this dude, I reckon. I think he's asleep. Dry clothes for Alice. What are you doing? They're not our clothes. Shh. We need some more. I'm sorry, Alice, but we have to do this. Go, go, go before he wakes up. I don't want him to notice. Oh, come on. Really? Really? Oh, come on! And another! Oh, God! Oh, God, this is tense. Oh, my God, I feel so bad for doing this, but we need it. Don't wake up. Don't wake up. Just sleep soundly. I bet you, now that we're in disguise, uh, people will be a lot more helpful. Because look, she's hidden her little uh, circle thingy. Communicator circle. This. She's hidden it under the hat. And she looks human now. You wouldn't tell that she's an android anymore. So I bet you people are going to be more helpful now. See you later, dude. Sucks to be you. <laughs> I feel bad. Okay, so the other area we haven't checked is over here, isn't it? This is actually going well so far because we haven't done anything so extreme that will alert the authorities. I don't think the um, guy earlier is going to say anything because in his eyes we put it back. We put back what we stole so there's no reason to report anything. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Yes. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. That is true. Like I said, secluded. And out of the rain. Can cut fence here with a wire cutter. Where the hell am I going to get a wire cutter from? Find a wire cutter. There's nothing more this way. Okay. Right, I need um, like a hardware store or something. Okay, we've got the drugstore. Oh, hello, there's something over here. Is it? Yes. Right, if we can get wire cutters, we should be alright. Looks like we found a place to stay. We don't have any money. We could try this, but we don't have any money. I have no idea where we're going to get wire cutters from, though. 
Let's give it a go, guys, but... No androids allowed. Yeah, but we're in disguise now. We're not going in? We can't, Alice. I don't have any money. Yeah, we money is an issue. dollars Or go somewhere else. Okay. So my two options are sleep in the motel or squat in the house. So I've either got to find $40 or get wire cutters. And I have no idea where I'm going to get either of those, to be honest. That's too far. Come on, let's go back. We could find like a hardware store. Right, hello, hello, what's this? I can interact with this over here. Maybe it's another way in. Sleep in an abandoned car. Right, so that's actually another option. Which might be the better option since I have no idea how to get wire cutters. Again, it's sheltered and it's pretty private. Not unless I can fi find wire cutters um, here somewhere, I don't know. I would rather go and sleep in the abandoned house than the car. Oh! Wire cutters, I think. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. We got the wire cutters, right? We're we're not going to the car then. Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Androids don't bleed like humans do. Come on, girl. Don't worry, we're just having a look. straight ahead. I like to scan a lot just in case there's anything uh, on the ground or anything like that. Can't get in that way. Hey, it's warm and dry. It's not the four seasons, but it's warm and dry. That's the main thing. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> for the love of God! Alice? Oh. Alice! Alice! Oh shit, where's Alice gone? Where's she gone? like visitors they're nasty they may hurt Ralph oh my god she's 
just a little girl. She's not gonna hurt you. Little girl? She's not a little girl. Anyway, what does that matter? Maybe she wants to hurt Ralph. No. I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with I'm it. I'm an android too, All look. Humans hurt us. But Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he won't let them. Ralph, chill. Chill, Ralph. Look, I'm an android too. We have nothing to be afraid of. All we want is a place to spend the night. Exactly. Please, we don't want to sleep in the car. Look, what they did to Ralph. Little girl can't do that. You have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Well, full shadowing. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. Okay. I'm gonna we'll give him a chance. Enough. This might be a risk and I might regret it, but oh Come god. On. Oh god. Come. Okay. Come, come on. Can you stop waving your knife around, please? Willy nilly with Ralph the knife. Here since he ran away. Stop it. Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. I wanna give That's Ralph a chance. Time time, but, you know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. I mean he seems pretty excited now, but also he seems quite mentally unstable. So I am a little bit concerned about the decision I've just made, but I don't know, I didn't want to sleep in the car. And I'm not happy about Ralph having that knife. Maybe maybe we can find a way to get the knife off Ralph. That would make me feel safer. And also make me feel better that uh, Alice will be more safe as well. <laughs> Chill out, Ralph. It's all good. You can make yourself at home here. Can you put the knife away, please? Ralph is going to go into the other room. He would like to stay with you. But he has things to do. Things to do. What things, Ralph? It's just for one night, Alice. We'll find a better place tomorrow. Right. Let's see where you can sleep. Jesus. Sit down and I'll start a fire. Very dark in here. Okay, start a fire and make a bed for Alice. Doing all right. Alice, this is better than being outside in the cold, although as long as Ralph doesn't murder us, we're okay. <laughs> Please don't murder us, Ralph. That's right, get warm, you can Alice. Come to bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. Now, Ralph, stay in your own room, please. Watch over Alice. 
yeah, I'm not leaving Alice alone with uh, Ralph at any point. Sorry. <laughs> Why didn't he ever love me? I'm sure he did. Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. No, no, you didn't. Maybe it wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? Promise you'll never go. Promise? I promise. Pinky swear! Will we be together forever? Forever. At well, the end of the day, she hasn't got anyone else. I don't know if that's a promise that we can keep, but... It felt right. You've got to sleep. Kiss? Oh. Sleep tight. Leave her space, lie with Alice. No, I'm staying with Alice. I am not leaving her be at all. Mother alarm is going off. We are, we are. <laughs> this is my baby. My baby. Shelter trophy and Jesus, look at all these branching paths though. Oh my god, guys, look at all these branches. So you can actually end up in the motel. See, I would have ended up in the motel had I have robbed the cashier and got some money. Inside the supermarket, quite a few different outcomes there. Right, okay. So some of uh, some of the choices lead to the same outcome, it seems, looking at this. Oh my god. I'm so glad we found somewhere proper to sleep. I just hope... Ralph! Ralph! Buddy. Okay. Like, I have put a lot of faith in you to not kill us in our sleep. And to be okay and be all cool and chill. So Ralph... Don't let me down, okay, Ralphie boy? Okay? <laughs> let me know the choices you would have made in this episode down below in the comments, guys. Thank you so much for supporting this series and watching me out of everybody else on YouTube. I know so many people are covering this game, so I really appreciate you guys supporting my content. But anyways, check out everything in the video description, including ways to support the channel if you want to be a VIP team GGK member. Thank you so much for watching. Take it easy. And I shall see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.